Right, hello, welcome. You're watching Headset VR. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another day at class. We're in Hogwarts Legacy, and as you can probably just see by the UI part on the left side of the screen, we're going to be sneaking around school tonight. <laughs> right, so first of all, we're going to make myself reappear just to make sure that this actually works there we go so i'm just going to quickly play this a little bit in first person well third person just so i can see that i'm still invisible when you're playing first person and the um skeletal mesh is disabled you can't actually tell whether you're visible or not so we're just going to quickly play this like this so what i've done is oh rather poorly i'd say is that so yeah that's so uh, so let's just get up here now i have actually keybound this to um make it so i can pop back Visible, etc. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Hello, Nora. Right, let's just get into here, and once we're done here, we'll switch back to first person. Right, just you know, I'm playing an RX 6600XC GPU, a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU. I've got 32 gigabytes of RAM. And I'm playing on a Quest 3 headset with a link camera to the PC. This is a custom profile that is on the Discord channel. But I have actually amended it somewhat. Because some of the cutscenes are a bit of a pain. And you can't see yourself because the skeletal mesh is invisible. And we can just get out and escape right so let me just enable what I did and we're gonna go back into first person there we go so what it is I've done I've got the profile set up as first person it's exactly the same as the one on the discord channel I've added my own little touches in so let me just show you what I've added in that is a little bit different now I find sometimes in a mad panic you can accidentally enable the UEVR menu in mid game which is the pain if you're in combat and that blocks your screen so I only use it from the keyboard now so I've take I take that off and I always put UI follows view so I can always see the UI and um, we've left these as they are the input is exactly the same as it is same as the camera now I usually like putting in some key binds so as you can see here i can using the number pad i can recenter to view if any reason i go into site let's let's get rid of this and go into the map and it looks a bit weird in my headset so if i press the minus key on the numpad we get the proper map and that's how the map should be so let's come out of the map and as you can see i'm not currently in vr so i'll press Enable VR and go back into VR again. And the other keybinds I've got is if I want to get rid of the UI on screen. So I press numpad 5 and that disappears. Or we can toggle 2D screen mode. So that will change to like this. It's sort of similar to what I've actually done. But what we can also do as well. If I oh, just remember where... It is, I think it's in, in config. So disable your object hook, and I've put that as a multiply key on the numpad. And then what that'll do if you press that, we go like this. You can see me again. Right, so let's go and talk to the professor, and you'll see the benefit of this. Hello, Mr. Meek. What? Camera's looking the wrong way. Can't see. Oh, goodness. You're as fearless as so, a So I've pressed this. An excellent start. 
<laughs> if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I. What? Well, and there you go. And Pins, you can see. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxme, does it? No, it doesn't. No. And you can see there, looks disappeared. Pretty back on again, and I've reappeared. So as you can see, having this enabled, so when you've made the character mesh invisible, it does mean that you can still watch cutscenes just by pressing a key bind. So let's just say, I'll be glad to help. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. So as you can see, we're into third person now. And then if I disable your object hook, or should I say re-enable it, we go back into first person mode. And everything looks all VR immersive. And we're all happy again. Isn't that lovely? Right, so yeah, every time that you hit a cutscene, just make sure you've got your disable your object hook disabled or enabled, whichever way you want to look at it. And it makes the cutscenes a lot more watchable. A lift. Must be how I get down. Okay. Looks broken though. Prepare. There we go. Now, if you can support the channel, that would be massively appreciated as well. So, if you do like the video, and then give us a, a thumbs up. If you want to see more VR related this content from, me. from headset VR then please smash that subscribe button you'll see every bit of vr content that's uploaded on the channel otherwise any comments you want to make chuck them in the usual place i'll respond to every comment that i'm able to Well, there we go. Well, this looks equally intriguing. I'm going to have to get past this. Oh. Let me open. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, that just uh, smells of danger. Okay, so let's carry on down. This must be the way out. Hmm, I need to find a way to open that gate. Something smells sweet. Must be close to honey jukes. Ah, oh, there we go. I have the dried billywood stings. 
Okay, so we've finally made it back to uh, Gareth. Let's Hello hand again. in the quest. Were you able to get to Honey Dukes? Yep. Hello, Gareth. And then I we're gonna disable you your object them. hook. Incredible. And we can watch the cutscene. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. Lovely. Sounds like something I can't wait for. Right, so let's pop back into uh, VR. See you later, Gaz. And, well, I think we're going to end the video just there. So this is how you can get some of the cutscenes working if you haven't got them working in Hogwarts. So it makes the uh, game a lot better. It doesn't mean pressing the keybind, but hey, it's very, very easy. So I'm just going to end the video there. So thanks very much for watching. Look out for more Hogwarts Legacy coming up soon. And look out for other fantastic games that we can play in a VR headset. Also coming up soon. So take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye now. Bye bye.